Okay, hello. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm Tanner Shimono, and I'm uh, John Wazlowski, and our project was Tank Me On, uh, a mobile military strategy game, and our advisor was Dr. Kate Lockwood. So, first off, who likes games? <laughs> okay, good, I see, I see lots of hands. Uh, for those of you that didn't raise your hands, I may have to have a talk with you later. <laughs> um, okay, but as we are all familiar with, games take time, right? Um, whether they're board games, video games, even sports, there are those just those little intermissions that it's basically playing the waiting game. And this is not any more true than with mobile games. So who's familiar with Words with Friends? Okay. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so the, the concept behind these games is that you're able to play against a friend and you take your turn and then it pushes it to the database and then it just waits there until your friend takes their turn and then you know the game proceeds from there. But um, for those of you who are not familiar, it's basically start a board game, uh, you take your turn, and then you just leave it there until your friend comes by and plays their turn. So as you can imagine, this can be a very long waiting period. Especially if, say, your friend goes to, I don't know, uh, Guam or Malta or some <laughs> random out of the place nowhere that doesn't really necessarily have good internet. Or they could have just forgotten their phone. Um, but as you can imagine, game speed varies, and then so the problem is that there is not a mobile game that combines uh, player versus player and a player versus computer functionality. So it, it basically increases the playability of the game. Um, so our solution is that we have created a new uh, mobile game, it's Tank Me On, it's a mobile military strategy, so it's sort of like chess. Uh, it goes off of the same principle as Words With Friends, but we have also implemented a uh, artificial intelligence program inside of the game that will allow you to play against the computer as well. Uh, what makes this different is that not only can you start out a game against a computer, but you can actually take a game that you're currently playing against your friend and then have it so that the computer takes over for them. So you can store that as a local save in your phone, and then whenever your friend comes back, they can take their turn as if nothing happened. Um, so yeah. Uh, so for our methodology, was pretty much we came up with an idea, we did some research on how we're going to like code it, and we tried coding it and then running it. Um, one of the uh, problems we ran into was Tabor's computer is really bad. And <laughs> you can't run Unity at I all. I call her Old Faithful. Yeah. <laughs> so we were restricted to only using my computer for doing testing. Because also as well, uh, the computers here on campus that do contain Unity uh, students are restricted from downloading uh, extra programs, and we needed uh, SDKs to run our uh, games, which we weren't able to get access to. So that was a big uh, issue with uh, coding. The um, pretty much, and then so our, what we would do is Tabor would, would uh, write a big chunk of code because uh, he could write code but couldn't run Unity. Give it to me, and then I would try and run it and see, and ho hopefully it worked. Tools like we use, I said, were uh, computers. We use a my 15-inch MacBook Pro. We use <coughs> Unity 4.3.4. We were uh, partnered with Science to let us borrow two Android devices to do our testing. And definitely, we use a lot of internet research because we ran into a lot of bugs. Stack <laughs> Overflow became a very good friend of us, friend of ours. And um, things we learned. Definitely, it's a terrible idea to program a lot of lines of code and then try and run it like without doing any testing beforehand. <laughs> Rent, you get a lot of errors, fix your errors, and then you get more errors. So a lot of our time was spent actually debugging our uh, game rather than actually trying to get it to work. Um, we also learned a lot about programming AI. It's a lot more challenging than we uh, previously expected. We wanted to make a really a full and immersive game, but we took a bit off more than we could chew and we wasn't able to implement all the designs we wanted to, but we were able to get the core functionality, which was uh, a good thing. So, uh, thank you for listening. If you have any questions, we will be in room 156. Thank you.